Disclaimer. Very heavy topics that include PTSD, depression, and self-harm, and much more. Let's get into it. Hello everyone, this is TGTB. You may know something a little different about my OC. It now has gla- she now has glasses. Honestly, she always has, but I've just been learning how to draw it. It takes so much time. <laughs> anyway, from the news video, well, law video, well, pretty m- closest thing we have to actual law, Lunar's mental health is extremely serious right now, and you know for a fact I'm diving into this so much. I'm going to be skipping the timeline and everything. And I am actually going to be, um, all of this information has come from, well, me of course, and a little book by Chloe Hayden, Different Not Less. It's a book about neurodiversity, and well, come on. (laughs) Out of all the cast, he's the one that's the most neurodiverse, even though the actor did not attend for that. Anyway, let's go, let's get into this, shall we? <clears throat> Neurodiversity and mental illnesses, or specifically PTSD. This person has gone through a lot of stuff, so I'm just going to, like, make it so then I can actually find the areas. Okay, where is it? It was a person known to me. And as many other disabled child victims, my voice was pushed down deeper by an inability to speak up, by not understanding the severity of what happened to me, by thinking it was only my fault during my own inability to recognise social cues and understand situations. And by thinking the complaints was necessary because behave as you're told was drilled into my head when we were young. Yeah. What does that what does that sound like, huh? <laughs> Little thing called Lunar right now, basically. Okay, um that out. Or I'm too lazy. One of those two. You'll find that out. Signs of someone that may be struggling with poor mental health. The emphasis is maybe here. It's not easy, always easy to tell when someone is struggling and need help, but these signs may have an in- indicator that they are. We all know that they are <laughs> in, in this scenario. Changes in behaviour. No longer participating in, in um, activities they once enjoyed. Isolating themselves from friends and family. Sleeping more but still feeling tired. Less productive. Impaired judgement. There's one here that I do not would think for Luna because he's a kid, which is increased alcohol or drug use. Yeah, that's not Luna. <laughs> Changes in appearance, frequently looking tired, dull, sad, or numb. Or feeling all that. Yeah. Changes in mood. Feeling sad, hopeless all the time. Trouble coping with everyday life. Heightened sense. Heightened sense. Stress and or anxiety, flashing out, under or over reacting to situations. Hmm. Change in speech, speaking negatively about themselves, expressing physical complaints like I do not feel well, disinterest in life. That is, what is the point? Literally in the newest video. Changes of what they like post online. Ah. Uh... Their brother's pretty much uploaded, so I don't really think that's in there. Okay, this is something for someone that's neurodiverse, and I'm just going to, like, look through here and see what the ones is a definitely lunar, which is this one. Emotional amber- outburst, seemingly la- random, impulsive burst of negative emotion, often shown as anger, sadness, or crying. Negative stimmering, also known as lunar bubbing his head into the, into the wall. Self-soothing, when s- self-soothing methods turn into self-destructive behaviours such as headbanging, hitting, biting, and so on. Hmm. Obsessing over deaths and p- permissive art. This includes 
suck poetry, films, and... I don't want to say that word. <laughs> something that, like... Something that I also want to talk about here as well. Is that I don't just think it's PTSD. And neurodiversity. Honestly, just... Yeah, I think there's something else added... Well, everything... But I think there's something else added to it. I did briefly mention it, but I want to dive into it a little further. Lunar's grief over the old moon. The old moon was honestly the first person to ever care about him. In the episode where they first meet, Moon shows compassion and all that towards Lunar. And at that point, Lunar found an actual positive relationship in someone. That's not just something you just get over. Get over. Moon was kind of a parental figure to him. Like, honestly, you could not tell me that Moon and Bonnie did not look like an, act like an older married couple. They still do, kind of. But when it came to Lunar, that excelled. And honestly, Moon was just an overprotective mama bear to him. And I love that. I want that back so much. Well, the new moon has lost all of all of the memories and times that he and Lunar spent together. And that includes the time when they went to the Lord Eclipse's dimension. Because that was, honestly, the peak of their um, relationship in general. And October, when, like, Moon was defending him and just... I just... It's just sad when you think about it. Like, everything that they went through together, and just... It's just sad, and he's, like, he's forgotten about it as if he's a whole new person, and not the person he's used to. And another point is that the new moon thinks as the old moon as a monster, when Lunar knows firsthand that is false. Because a monster... Wouldn't be the one that convinces his brother to adopt him. A monster would have killed him. He's seen a monster firsthand. He's experienced it. And he's seen a positive relationship. He knows what those are like too. If only they could just talk and Luna could tell them like, he's not a monster or something like that. And honestly... You think I wasn't going to bring this up? Editor, add in the crap. It's very crap. large. Sun is very bright. Moon is a big jerk, and I don't like him now. Yeah, you really think I wasn't going to add that in? He also tries to defend him in his own little way. Yeah. <laughs> Things that, honestly, his family could do to help. As well, find some time to gen... Gently open the conversation with no distractions. That mean they try to, but... <sighs> Lunar is just very numby. He does need time to process it. But you can't force it either. And he would will also need help to learn how to process it. But you can't tell him how he's supposed to be feeling. It's something that he's supposed to be doing himself. Ensure the space is without distractions, other people, mobile phones, other plans, and so on. Like, make it so then he is the focus and he feels like he is the focus. Like, he's the priority and all that. That's the only way you can get him to open up. Validate their feelings or no feelings. Keep it opened up, like, and all that. Keep everything, like, open. Be open with them as well, like, New Moon, just be honest with him and explain why he, you think the things you do, and he can explain why he does. Like, go against... Like, come together. Offer support. If you're not capable of it, if you're not... Rec 
registered for a counsellor, doctor or psychologist, you are not expected to offer mental health advice. They basically have a therapist for a sex to like check. But that doesn't mean you can't help. Offer, offer to go and walk with them, go out for a coffee, cook meals, and help, and help them, essentially. Offer and remind them that they are there to help at all, at all costs. That they love them and get, care for them at all times. And listen. Lunar said multiple times in Lunar's trauma episode that Lunar just feels numb. And in this newest video, he's doing everything in his power to feel something. I've got to add in a Ninja Turtle quote. Nobody's going to stop me. Editor, put it in now. So yeah, he he he. And well, they need to look after themselves too. If they worry too much, it it will make it make them seem put it bad on you and also them as well. Like they'll see that they're stressing them out, and they'll blame themselves a lot more as well. And well, of course, you need to care take care of yourself as well. So, things Lunar can do to care for his own mental health. Make yourself feel comfortable. Just like, just like he's been trying to do with all the running and all that. Yes, that is a trauma reaction, but his mind is trying to process things and he needs to be comfortable and to be able to process everything. He needs to adjust to his environment because currently he is kind of having a sensory overload. You know, like when you just shut down and just and all that, you don't know what to think or feel or anything. He's kind of having an overload, like with everything that's happened. He kind of just needs not much, that much of a break because that could also lead to a sensory overload. He just needs, for example, a room that just has fluffy toys and bean bags. That's what he needs to be able to calm down. He needs to rest a lot. Cuz again, he he does need a lot of rest, but he and he also needs to reset. So yeah, create something. I mean, I got to read this directly from the book. This quote is, No one's asking you to write Mozart's Ninth Symphony. Paint a Picasso or master an art within the next 15 minutes. That's literally a quote from them and I love it. <laughs> like, literally with Lunar's little uh, texture pack, that is a created out outlet. And he kind of does need, and that's kind of his way, it's like very therapeutic and can help him process a lot of things. Like if he just draws everything onto a piece of paper, like if he just draws, the natural way that you're feeling will come out. And if he doesn't know what he's feeling and if he just draws, once he looks at it, he'll see what he's feeling firsthand. I'm talking from experience. <laughs> stim. You need to stim. Stimming is good. You just like, you know, like with his fiddling with his fingers, but not slamming your head into the wall. That is bad. No. That's a no no. Go outside. I'll pass on that one. <laughs> Fuel yourself, find yourself energy, eat something, yeah, and have a cuddle. Like, just give him a hug or something. Like, just go and hug something. Like, go up and hug 
go up and hug new moon and imagine that the new moon's still there. That the old moon is still there. That will do a lot. Like, and just some, do a video diary and just say, like, title it to the to old moon because he told the old moon everything. Title it to them and, like, imagine that they actually are watching it. That would be helpful for him. Anyway, this kid needs a lot of therapy and I'm willing to give it to him myself. But the thing is, I have no idea how to get on the show and I want to so bad. <laughs> anyway, um... So, yeah... The fan art competition is still going and everything. I need one more to do it because I have amazing fan art and I need one more to actually judge all of them. Please. <laughs> Please like and subscribe and comment down below and I'll see you in the next lore video. Yay, bye.